and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mardu Control. We got a new donation deck to play here. This is 27 land full on control in the Mardu colors. We have a bunch of sweepers. We got four Kaya's Wrath, two Planar Cleansing, really trying to be a control deck here. Now we need to get some setup, right? So we have the, the four Thrill of Possibilities that we can discard an extra land, for example, draw two cards. Um, you know, basically, you know, help us hit land drops if we need it, if we need to discard spells, or if we have too many lands, you know, we can uh, find some more gas. And uh, of course, we have this this discovery. This discovery is over here because it, you know, technically costs seven whenever they add them together. But really, it's a two mana card. You know, surveil to draw a card. Those two kind of help us uh, smooth out our draws early on. The Thrill of Possibility is really cute with Bag of Holding, where you can discard uh, your extra card into the bag. Um, but otherwise, Bag is also just kind of a another um, card filtering uh, card for us, where we have the, the two and tap, draw a card, then discard a card. So, you know, later on in the game, we can kind of filter through our draws with that. So we have our, our 10 cards to filter our draws with the Holdings, the Possibilities, and the Discoveries. And then, of course, we got our Removal. We got four Bedevil for all of the artifacts like witches' ovens, planeswalkers, creatures, everything like that. Mortifies, destroy those trailer crumbs, fires of inventions, and other creatures. Oh, the Kaya helping us stay alive. So, you know, like we're just hammering these these three three mana removal spells. Like I talked about, we got our wraths. And then we have our, our win conditions. We have one Bantu at the top end that can sacrifice extra lands. Because like I said, we're, we are a 27 land deck, which I guess I could put the mana base up here. We're a 27 land deck, so we have the one Bantu that can help us sacrifice extra lands, extra Othakaya, um, and help us gas back up. But then we're really using Chandra Awaken Inferno to end the game. So like we're, we're really just going to be trying to go on the emblems. You know, like these can't be countered, so they're good against the other blue decks. And we're just going to be trying to give our opponent an emblem, hopefully on tap with Chandra, give him another emblem. Maybe they kill it then, and then we play a new Chandra, give them a third emblem, and so on, and just try to, you know, eventually get them to have three, four, five emblems where we can play enough defense, stay alive, and the emblems finish them out. Um, besides that, sideboard, of course, duress against spell heavy decks. Gideon's going to be against control decks, like where we don't need as many sweepers. Gideon does survive our own Kaya's Wraths and Planar Cleansings, also, so that's that's pretty cool. And then against like the um, Cauldron Familiar decks, we got a couple Cry of the Carnariums in there and all four Leyline of the Void, um, not letting them get those things back. So that's our deck. Let's see how this works. Hey, what's up, Techstar? Thanks for the resub there. Almost a whole year now. Thanks, Techstar. All right, so this is a donation deck, so we're going to be playing it through a league. We're going to play uh, and see if we can win five and t before we lose two. See what happens first. So that is our eighth of the day. I was behind one there. All right, Mardu Control. <laughs> yep, I only have five friends. I think that means I have five friends that are online right now. Perfectly reasonable hand here. Also, and of course we have these temples. Help us do some good scrying. We don't really need a second bag of holding when we already got one. The Witch's Oven will be able to sacrifice the Butcher, which makes my Oath of Kaya a little worse. I think I still just Oath of Kaya, the Butcher, and hold on to the Devil, though. But I don't actually get to gain the three life, and I'm just taking three instead. Of 
All right, Sir Eccles. Take care. I'll see you later. Because we're going to want to get rid of these ovens. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to use Othakaya just on them, just to gain three life. But I'm definitely looking for another Bedevil to try to kill another Witch's Oven here. That's what I'm looking for right now. It was right there. I wish I didn't play the temple. I wish I would have just activated the bag of holding and drawn it. I guess they can't sacrifice right now. Because they tapped it during their turn. So we get to... Kill that and gain three life. They, of course, get to bring it back, but... Something I can use my mana on right now. Awesome, Azurloth. Glad you're enjoying the Mono Black. You're going with the, the Mono Black discard one? Or Mono Black Control? Like an Historic? Like, which, which Mono Black deck do you really like? Not using this witch's oven very well. It doesn't feel like. <laughs> bye bye. Last one I played. Okay, the discard one. Yeah. Hopefully they have more Planeswalker removal. It's like, you know, Bedevil, Murderous Rider, stuff like that that costs double black. And we can at least get another, you know, get them a second emblem. Hopefully. Okay, good. Seems a little unnecessary. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? So we'll go Thrill of Possibility, discard this extra land, put it under the bag. Both Akaya. And it's working. I don't think it was supposed to work this well. My opponent kind of helped us out.
Okay. Well, now we'll have Cry the Carnarium and all these Leyline of the Voids. Which, you know, I kind of assume this is what the Leyline of the Voids are for. Keep those things out of here. The Bag of Holding It's pretty cute. Pretty cute, but I'm not sure if too necessary. Um, Bontu Magma Love with the Tier 1 sub. Brand new sub here. Thank you so much there, Magma. Thanks for that support. And our ninth sub of the day. Um, so yeah, not sure... Not sure if Bantu is really where I want to be against the Mayhem Devil deck. But the thing about Bantu is it's pretty sticky. You know, it can keep on coming back. Um, if I take out Bantu, then I just have the four Chandras. And that's not a whole lot, admittedly. I'm not sure how... Oh, wait, that doesn't that doesn't do anything. Oslin! For a nine-month dono, I was thinking kind of jank. Yeah. Yeah, Oslin with another tier three sub means that Oslin gets a donation deck. Thinking about maybe getting some jank. I don't know. All these seem pretty good. Is planar cleansing too slow? Probably not. Maybe I take out a Mortify, a Thrill, and... Just gonna play three Ley Line of the Void. Four is a lot of that card. <laughs> yeah, take out Bantu to see if we can win with only Chandra Emblems for science. Scry to the bottom. Let's get a couple more lands into the graveyard. Called it. All right, so we got one land at the bottom, two more in the graveyard. some more lands. So we're going to be taking 6, 10, 11 damage here. That's a lot. Make that 12. <laughs> so we're down to one. All right, where are you at, Othakaya? Oh, they just sacrificed that thing and I'm dead. Oh, they didn't do that. Well, I thought they were going going towards that. Hmm. 
Is this card good? I'll play two of them. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I All they had to do was one extra point of damage. They probably were going to be able to do that, but I guess I did scoop a little early. I thought they I thought they moused over the the thing and they were doing that. Yeah, Leyline does stop butcher trigger. So it can do some stuff, but I don't really want four of them because you know, like I I wouldn't really want to draw. You know, I don't really don't want to draw a second, and you know, drawing a third could be a catastrophe. A cat catastrophe. So we we got two in here. All right, I think we're good enough at you know being on the play and them having this start. I think we're good enough just to wait to Kaya's Wrath next turn and not have to. Uh, shock for a removal spell here. We'll just shock for the Kai's Wrath. Yeah, we do have the thrills that can discard it. Four four. What are you doing with a four four? Waste the Bedevil on a creature. Yeah, 3-3. Three, three, that's better. That's better. Yeah, that was a nice poker hand. Just gonna, I'm gonna keep these Othakayas as yeah, basically waiting to see if we drew a land. Which we obviously were going to. Our our deck has a lot of lands. I don't know, that's kind of a that's kind of a waste of an Othakaya. And Priest is just a one-two. It's not very scary. Well that thing's scary though. Hmm. Hmm. How does this work with Leyline of the Void? If we would find Leyline of the Void and then play it, it would die but then get exiled. So it wouldn't really die. I guess it would be put into exile from the battlefield, I guess, but it would be put into the graveyard from the battlefield, but it wouldn't go to the grave. Yeah, so it would be put into exile from the battlefield, so no. We can't do that. Oh, yeah, we don't even have blue. So why am I even thinking about dispersal? It's not even an option. I mean, I guess we could try it for science. We would cast Leyline of the Void first. If a card would be put into an opponent's graveyard from an anywhere, exile it instead. We need a four science emote. Yeah, this the second paragraph put into exile from the battlefield. Is it put into exile from the battlefield? Is it?
Yeah, it never hits the yard, so it is. Okay, so it is battlefield straight to exile, so it's put into exile from the battlefield. Let's get toasty. Time to start just you know, putting these uh Putting these emblems, start stacking them. Gross. Well, we only got two stacked. Only got a double stack of emblem. We need a new Chandra now. They're dead in six turns, at least. How many thrills we got left? Two thrill. I'll play another one of these. That's true. Could go face with these. Kind of looks like that's what we're doing here. Ow. Wait, why am I saying ow? They got hit. They're probably just sacrificing all five lands they just tapped. They need to find like Witch's Oven or Cauldron Familiar. I'm hoping they don't. They didn't sacrifice as many lands as I thought they would. Yay! Mardu Burn! This is Electric Feel by MGMT. Well, we're undefeated on the day in best of three. The <laughs> best of one got us. Alright, wanna know? Chandra, the win the win condition that doesn't need to be on the battlefield. I don't like having the Bantu in hand. Like I wish this was a different thing. Oh, again, we're 27 lands. We can we can hit land drops. It's not too too difficult. Hitting land drops isn't too difficult. I guess I could. Oh, I should have probably just played Bantu, sack the Othakaya. 
I guess I was just kind of focused on these Chandras. I probably should have just done that. If you have an enemy, then get ready to meet my flame. Yeah, lose that life. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Because they're obviously just sitting back with more murderous riders over here. My opponent's playing Jun Sacrifice, I think, but they just have just they've just drawn all their murderous riders. So this looks like just Jun Sacrifice. Alright, sixteen turn clock. This is a pretty cool control deck. It's like, we now have inevitability. This emblem's never going away. Ugh, where's our mortifies? We need our mortifies. Nine turn clock. No <laughs> yeah, I expected them, like how they weren't doing anything for a while, definitely expecting more murderous riders. No surprise there. Um, yeah, I'll take this land drop. I guess I should have still six. I guess I should have waited and then played the temple. I wasn't really planning on playing the Bantu, honestly. <laughs> they cannot hold back our Chandras. Chandra will get there eventually. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. All right, we'll exile that thing. Ooh, I, I don't like this move by my opponent because they only get to activate one trail of crumbs. I think I really think they should have waited a turn. Like just wait till here they can activate both of them. But they found a goose, give them more food.
That's, what, that's why we need our mortifies. I'm reaching my boiling point. Destroy these crumbs. I don't know. I don't know about that turn. I don't know if like I'm glad we drew a mortify. I'm not sure if I was supposed to just mortify. I don't love that I'm not giving them another emblem. But I I just kind of feel like getting rid of those cats is so important. I wish I gave him another emblem. Also, just don't have the man to do everything. If I had one more mana, if I didn't sack, if I would have sacked one less land with the Bantu, would have been able to. Oh, that hurts. That's my fourth Chandra. That really hurts. So I guess we only get the three emblems. That was a. That was their fourth murderous rider. But I guess they shuffled. So some of them came back. Is there any way to get these Chandras back? Or is this all I got? So I don't know if three emblems is going to be good enough. This Liliana looks sweet. <laughs> Rise and shine. Well, I get to draw three cards. Why did I just waste those mortifies? Yeah, that'll help. Two trailer crumbs are gone, two witches ovens are gone, two cauldron familiars are gone. So they're back to 21, even though we've dealt so much damage with these emblems. Ugh. Hey, what's up, Rad? Thanks to Twitch Prime Sub. I appreciate that. One, two, three. I still have six mana. <laughs> yeah, that was that was nice auto tapping. There's no cries in the main board. This is game one. So I have no I have nothing else to exile the Cauldron Familiar. So I only have 
Bedevil to kill Witch's Oven is my only hope. Which there are two Bedevils left. Uh, of course, I have Planar Cleansing, obviously. I have that, obviously. I get rid of this witch's oven. This is Barricade by Interpol, as far as the song. Obviously, I have to mortify the Masker Girl, otherwise we're taking lethal, but this is kind of over with them drawing another Trail of Crumbs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's difficult to play against infinite resources. I need, yeah, I need, needed more emblems. The fact that I went through four Chandras and only got three emblems out of four Chandras, that's, where I, that's what really messed up this game for me. <sighs> to spark. I don't know. I mean, wish we had a better card than Leyland of the Void. This card really doesn't do anything except for Exile Cauldron Familiar whenever it dies. But then it also just dies to our planar cleansing. It really doesn't do anything else. And so like a four mana enchantment, it's wish we had something better. Yeah, like Kaya. Yeah, I would much rather have Kaya in the sideboard here. Kaya would be a lot better than Lightline of the Void. Yeah, that would, that would be like a, a kind of similar card that's just a much better card. Uh, would be like just regular old Kaya or, or Zav Usurper. They can get rid of the Witch's Ovens.
also. Uh, yeah, take notes. It shows that you're a sub. Try refresh your stream. Take notes. You may have a a notification that pops up if you re refresh the stream. Open to suggestions about that. Yeah, yeah, Kaya would be a good slot there. Um, yeah, basically, because we have, you know, four Bedevils to kill four Witches' Ovens and four Mortifies for four Trail of Crumbs. But the problem is, if we ever have to use Bedevil on a Planeswalker, then we don't have enough for Witch's Ovens. Of course, we have the two Planar Cleansings, but still... Um, could use, like... Like, honestly, I'd, I'd rather just have Disenchant. So maybe... Maybe a couple... Maybe, like, a couple Kaya a couple Disenchant. Like, just playing a couple disenchants to destroy these things would be nice. There we go. Take notes of that resub for the fifth month. Thank you, take notes. Yeah, disenchant's good. It says storm count 12. I guess I missed. We had a few resubs recently that I missed. I guess. Rad the reptile eight minutes ago. Westru eighteen minutes ago. I know Westru was a follow. Hmm. Oslin the three months or the thirty minutes ago. Hey SSJ two also with the resub. Thank you so much there. All right, let's see what the ley line does for us. Ley line does not die to Before Golgari Queen, which Kaya would have died to Golgari Queen. I'm at 14. Yeah, two cards in library. Ugh. That hurts, that's a lot of damage. So we hit a sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream. Of course, every 10 subs is a sub goal. And every 10 subs is a sub goal, then every 20 sub goals, we do a 12 hour stream like we're doing today. Kind of the difficulty of when we're drawing stuff here. I don't have mortifies now for trailer crumbs. Oh come on. Do they do have I just thought like I'd maybe need a bedevil for planeswalker also. I know who I am. And no one is telling We have to give him more emblems than what we gave him last time. But of course the, the trailer crumbs was the card I wanted to see the least. Yay, no no removal for Chandra right away. Good. Let's go emblems. Is it just me or is 
it getting a little warm in here? More emblems. Alright, they did have the rider. Oh, why'd I play that last land? Should not have played that land. I mean, yeah, with Akaya, I mean, we'd probably have to go upstairs. I mean, we want to draw Kaya's Wrath. That would be our best draw right now. Uh, I guess that doesn't cast this. Casting Cry right now saves one life. I wish we could cast it instant speed and not let them gain two life with the Murderous Rider. Say, if this thing turns into an elemental suddenly, that would have been sad. Get out of my way. Or, you know. This would be a good time for a planar cleansing. I mean, well, it would have been before I played the Chandra. That's kind of the problem with Leyline. We got planar cleansing away. All right, Othakaya. I could see just like a third planar cleansing in the sideboard though also instead of Leyline of the Void just get another planar cleansing in there because of how important that card is I could see that too Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have unlimited draws. the The problem is, is you know, like normally you can burn them out. Like you know, we dealt. You know, we probably dealt like forty damage that game one with the emblems, but they were still at a very healthy life total because the food just gain gains them all the life. So it's hard to burn them out with those things, with all the food. Okay, I'm not going to pay two life to cast Discovery against the Mountain Fervent Champion deck. We have we already have like good turns threes and fours. I don't need to like cast Discovery this turn. I'll be fine. I guess I could cast Discovery here. I'll just focus on Kaya's Wrath first as I was just talking about Discovery. Yeah, I could definitely see playing four planar cleansing in the 75. Yeah, I could see that. Two main, two side. That's really what you need against against that deck. I'm happy as a hellion to start some 
vibes. Hey, these little guys are great. Could get the temple, could just play the temple, but we don't really need to. Well, I got one red source. It's fine, I'll take the thrill and I'll discard the temple. And draw two. Hopefully find Kai's Wrath. Hmm. Maybe we'll discard the planes now. So I could still play Kai's Wrath if we drew it, but if we didn't draw Kai's Wrath, I would go Mortify plus the Temple of Silence. I'm just going to kill this right now before they start untapping and use some burn spells or something. Okay, we got Cry of the Carnarium. Two of those coming on in here. And... We're going to get rid of... Probably just get rid of these Bag of Holdings. Bag of holding's cute, but it's it's our worst card by a long ways. It it could be something something else. That could be like Kaya in the main deck instead. Yeah, like honestly we could just have Kaya or Zav Usurper in the main deck over those bag of holdings. Yeah, Rata, the this was a donation deck. Um Oh yeah, so I guess because I have a planes here, I'm not going to be able to cast Bedevil next turn. It's, I was thinking like 3 mana Chandra, I'd want to like shock here, have thrill a possibility. And then next turn, be able to bedevil a Chandra, but we're not going to be able to bedevil a Chandra anyway. If I had like a Mortify or something, I would, I mean, I guess Mortify would kills this thing, but. All right, we'll just get rid of Bantu. But that's why I had to cast that main face. So we find a tap land, it comes in. Alright, one red short for playing Chandra here, which is what obviously I'd want to do. There's the red, so we'll have it next turn. Sure, we'll keep another Kaiser Wrath. 
That's what we gotta do. We gotta kill all the creatures. We need a bedevil. Three mana Chandras. Hey, Frisky Biscuits! Thanks for the bits, fr Frisky Biscuits. Thanks for the cheers. That attack is for eight. Don't worry. But they're down to one card now. I'll leave this one one back on defense. I guess in case of another war boss. I don't know, we have a Kaya's Wrath. Maybe I should just attack. Okay. And we're two and one. Thanks, Frisky Biscuits. The attack of the Chandras. <laughs> yeah, that was a fast match. Yeah, basically, how my opponent could have won that is if they would have drawn the the other, like if they had three more of the three mana Chandras, just draw that, attack at all the triggers. Like that's that's how they could have could have won that. Okay, back to this deck again. I want to see two lands here. I right, saw one land. I want to see two lands because I wanted to put two lands in my graveyard. This is pretty important. We got two Mayhem Devils out of here. That was a really nice Kai's Wrath. No Trail of Crumbs. Get another land out of the deck. That's... Get another land out of the deck. Ugh. These aren't lands. But they're not Chandra's. I want Chandra's. So I'll still take the Mortify because we have to destroy all of the Trail of Crumbs, of course. Good, and I, I wanted to keep the two red, so I didn't want to thrill the possibilities and discard a mountain, but we can discard a Godless. Godless Shrine.
Chandra. Yeah. All right, we got two Mortifies already. We'll go bottom. Look for more Chandras, because assuming this last card's Murderous Rider, it's a pretty fair assumption. Ooh, not Murderous Rider. That's awesome. Wow, not Murderous Rider? Well, that's pretty big. Start stacking up these emblems. Alright, Othakai can kill the Wicked Wolf. Stacking these emblems. Yeah, get him, Cerebus. <laughs> this deck is gas. It's true. It is. Good old Mardu control. Just, you know, I think I think all we need to do really is just change, like, there's like six cards we need to change. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Two in the main deck, four in the sideboard. But besides that, I, really, I like everything else. What do you mean by the new set swag, Oki Star? Yeah, basically the, the two Bag of Holdings and the four Leyline of the Voids. Those cards need to be changed. But besides that, everything else has been looking good. Oh, the new cards. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing... Yeah, whenever, whenever the whole set's released... Um, and like basically whenever the whole set is, is unveiled and we know all the cards in the set, we're going to be doing a, um, a, can, a set review and we'll be talking about every single card and going through and talking about the possibilities of it in standard and everything. Um, yeah, like bone crushers, bone crusher is a good card. This deck could play bone crusher. I guess I'm going to take out a land, I guess. Or just go down to just a two Leyline of the Void again. Yeah, let's go two Leyline of the Void. There is some cards. That, yeah, uh, Command the Dreadhorde can put Planeswalkers back from the graveyard to the battlefield. There's probably others. Ooh. Submit. Um, this song is Beautifully Unconventional by Wolf Alice. Um, earliest slots available for a donation deck. Uh, tomorrow's all open. I can... Okay, oh, speaking of that, I, I need to change the thumbnail here. 
I can move something from today to tomorrow. Also, if you want to, if you want to deck today, yeah, I can, I can move any of these three decks. Yeah, I can move something to tomorrow. So, really, if you want, if you want a donation deck today. How do I edit? Okay. Um. Oh, I already played a land? Oh, alright, well, fine. Okay. So they got a couple goose. Uh, the previous song? Oh. I'm sorry, Cot. Um, Alright, I could go back. Alright, so this is going to be at 110. Um, it was Intro by the XX. I mean, the castle could be good, I guess. I can see the castle being good for us. Yeah, castle good. So my, my best card to find right now is just Kai's Wrath, just clear these things up. That would be the best. Because um, I'd love to use Mortifies for Trail of Crumbs, of course. Do this first so they don't just get a free food. I'm just going to kill this thing that's pressuring my life total when we have the black castle. I could draw more cards. Hmm. Yeah, we're a control deck. Control decks need their sweepers. Oh, these duresses have just been a killer.
Can you take Layla on the void, please? Obviously, I wish I would have had this this sequence better against duress. Obviously, I didn't. I didn't do that very well. Yeah, that bag of holding would be good against duress, that's true. Wow, the car cranium is perfect. That'll do. And then temple, so we can play Chandra next turn. Oh, it's toughness is four greater. They get two. I was like, where did they supposed to get two? Um, Cithero, Sith have you have you seen the ones from the last two days? Because. I know that my yeah I know my YouTube videos were laggy before Never and I just got a new computer. You're about to. To help with that. So hopefully them from the last two days have been a lot better. <laughs> no pressure. Because <laughs> yeah I know the the couple weeks before that it was really bad and my computer was dying. So, okay. Okay, yeah, you hadn't seen that. So, yeah, should be good now. Yeah, if I had planar cleansing, the cat would get exiled. I don't think it's worth planar cleansing to get rid of one one cat and one witch's oven right now, though. I think we can hold on to it. So two cats are exiled. And three duresses. Go, Chandra Emblem, go! I, of course, just want to get cards out of my hand because of the castle, Lock Twain. Cerebus. At least that's the last duress, at least. But now if they have a Planeswalker, I am vulnerable.
Okay. I'm gonna play some Ardenvales. And get some soldiers. Humans. Yep, last duress. Even though I only played the one Chandra, I got the one emblem, they duressed one away earlier, so we're out of two. Two Chandras are gone. I go to six. Because I go to five here. Kaya's Wrath go to six. I guess that thing's just completely indestructible. Because there's no way we can possibly kill that. Unless we planar cleansing. We could just block it with castle. Thirteen more turns. Well, twelve more turns. Yeah, <clears throat> I guess I could keep a land in hand, yeah, because the thrill of possibility. But I'm playing them out because we have we have to use five mana every single turn. So then we that's just having another six lands. Um Well, casualties is pretty game. Need a planar cleansing. It's now planar cleansing isn't good enough. Like we don't have enough mana to draw planar cleansing and play it, and because we need planar cleansing plus bedevil. But with eight food, this thing's indestructible. This thing is gonna kill me. I guess I did have to use the planar cleansing before. It got you know that fourth duress got me. So obviously Dispark is an answer there for the wolf and for uh, Corvold and stuff. Oh, that's true. I could bedevil it to tap it. That's true. Can we get him with, like, Gideon? Our deck's so close to being good in this matchup. I just... We'll we'll fix it after the league, of course. We're we're close to being good in the matchup. I 
Gideon just can't get through Cauldron Familiar at all. If I play, if I play Gideon's. I'm not going to play the Bantu, and then I'm probably just going to get rid of these Thrill of Possibilities or Discoveries, just kind of a combo of those. It's kind of an awkward hand. Planar Cleansing, killing my Leyline of the Void. Don't get to use Dispark until later. Uh, Discovery's been awesome. I really like that. Like, just two mana, surveil to draw a card. That's been a very good quality card. Wait, a deck like this needs the card selection. Keeping the Fabled Passage because I don't have any red mana. Fabled Passage can go grab the mountain. Also, just it's kind of like drawing two cards and the fact that it takes another land out of the deck. Obviously, it's it's not drawing two cards, but it just it means that we're not going to ever draw the basic mountain now. Why does Gideon seem like a risky choice here? Or Gideon doesn't die to our sweepers. It doesn't die to planar cleansing. It doesn't die to Rakaia's wrath. Gideon can take removal, like you know they they use removal on Gideon, and then they have less removal for Chandra. And of course, Gideon's minus six can exile some stuff if, we, if you ever get there. That could be cool.
definitely could have been better for me. Why to spark this thing? Because it keeps coming back. If we just kill it, it's going to come back because we don't have a ley line of the void anymore. And then basically just mortified the uh, Gilded Goose. They couldn't just sit back and make millions of food and kill us with millions of food like they did the last game. Yay, Discovery. Hmm. Don't have the second red. A little awkward. So getting rid of the Mortify because it's not another red. That casualties was pretty brutal. Casualties was really brutal. Shouldn't have played that Fable Passage. I only have one red source. I can't. I couldn't cast Chandra. I just drew that second red source there. I guess I could have. I could have shocked and played Chandra. But our life total is under a whole lot of pressure here. I don't know about shocking. No, I can't. Chandra cannot exile cats with them having a witch's oven. I need to draw planar cleansing. We can't exile these with them having the oven. All right, so even though we went two and two, I think that our deck could could fix these problems pretty easily. You know, we lost to the the Jun Sacrifice deck twice, but I think that we're pretty close to having a very good matchup with it. Um, we just need to switch six cards. Leyline of the Void and Bag of Holding aren't really playable, so we have. Um, I think we want like two Kaya's in the main deck, and then we want. Two more cleansings in the board. And... Yeah, I like that. And then... Uh, let's see. So that's, that's the first thing there. Um... Because, yeah, we, we kind of need more planar cleansings, just in general. Like, that was, like, a card that we, we really wanted to have more of. 
and Kaya can help that a whole lot. I feel like the last two slots, we don't really need more more cards for that matchup. I think just having two Kayas and then two more Planar Cleansings, I think that's all we really need for that matchup. So really, I think we have two more slots for, you know, basically for whatever other matchup that we would want. Um, no, we don't want Spyglass. We don't want... Yeah, because Spyglass will just get destroyed by our planar cleansing. But yeah, Spyglass does stop the cat ability. Yes, it does. But we don't want that. Um, so basically, we have two. Yeah, you'd have like two free sideboard slots for for other decks. Um, you could play. So what? So what else is there? There's a bunch of there's a bunch of flash in the format. Could play thought distortion. Maybe a little bit more instant speed removal. Maybe maybe like two murderous riders in the sideboard. I don't. I don't think I'd want ethereal absolution with like. Basically, I think you can either have planar cleansing or ethereal absolution. I don't think you want to be doing both. And I'd just rather be doing planar cleansing. Yeah, you could have a couple of noxious grasp. Yeah, because there's like the Nissa decks. Planar cleansing is pretty good against the Nissa decks in general too. You could have noxious grasp. Could just play some more disparks. What would we want against like? Teamer Adventure with a deck like this. What do you want, Hawkeye? What's that card that, that removes cards that were exiled in Adventure? Is that is that thing even playable? Yeah, maybe some Dragonfire. Some Scorching Dragonfire. Get some Exile in there. That card's called Memory Theft. Okay, not too playable. Yeah, Cry fits. We have we have a couple of cries in the sideboard. Basically, I think we want you probably want two more cards against the green decks. You know, against your your Simic decks and against Team or Adventure. I guess it's Grasp. Probably the most versatile card. Yeah. You think four mana Chandra would be good? Four mana Chandra is kind of tough with all reactive spells because if you if you exile a, a reactive spell that doesn't um, do what you need it to, then it's just exiled for good. Yeah, th this deck can probably handle the lands with all the Kaya's Wrath and stuff. You could just we could play Clarions too, I guess, but maybe you don't need Clarions with everything else. Okay, so yeah, this is what this is what I kind of recommend over here. Um, just recommend playing a couple Kaya's in the main deck. Give you another, um, albeit much slower, but another threat, but something that's just really good against Jun Sacrifice. And then if you're not playing against, and you know, of course, good against like Edgewall Innkeeper and stuff. If you're not playing against that kind of stuff, you can sideboard it out. But gotta get the extra planar cleansings in there. So then that's that's the main deck. Um, so against against Jun Sacrifice, you would bring in two cry, two planar cleansing. And I would probably so like you'd have those four cards to bring in. You made it, and then you probably just get rid of the Othakayas completely. You have, you now have the Kaya that can gain life. Um, yeah, you so you probably and because this doesn't always 
this can't always kill something and gain life because they can sack stuff to Witch's Oven. It usually trades down on mana. Means you're a little bit worse against Mayhem Devil. But again, you got the Planar Cleansing, so... So yeah, I'd, br I'd bring in these four and cut the Othakayas against Jun Sacrifice. You could go Sarah for the Scales for another threat in the sideboard. I don't think this deck's really about that, though. I think you're probably more about just the slow... I think just you're kind of taking advantage of Planar Cleansing and just getting them some emblems and then letting the emblems do the job. I like, I like that... Um, I like that game plan. I like that game plan a lot. So there we go. This deck was pretty close. I liked the game plan of our deck. I think this was a really interesting take on Mardu Control here. Um, but I, I just really don't like Layla in the Void. I don't think it's it's impactful enough. And getting a couple more planar cleansings and getting some Kaya's in here could really help that Jun sacrifice match that we were we were really close. You know, like we played some long good long games, but we just couldn't quite um, couldn't quite get there. But more planar cleansing, more Kaya should help out. Uh, Ugin or Liliana, they're just fine. But I think I think this is enough sixes. Basically, you don't want to have. You know, millions of six drops. I think just the four Chandras and then planar cleansings. I think that's enough sixes. Um, I don't love Bantu, honestly. I really don't. I could definitely see just playing Liliana or Ugin instead of the Bantu. I really don't like the Bantu that much, to be honest. So, yeah, I would be just fine with playing Ugin or, or Liliana instead of Bantu. Um... All right, anyway, there we go. That's Mardu Control. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave comments, of course, as well. Um, but thank you so much for watching some Mardu Control, and I'll see you for the next uh, video.